Hey guys, this is my first video, and I'm going to be telling you and teaching you how to use the OLED screen on the Steel Series Apex Pro TKO. So, first, you can have any any little GIF or image show right there. I have a anime thing going on, but how you would change that, is if you look, you have to download the Steel Series engine and then click on the uh your the keyboard and then click the oled thing right there the oled settings right and then you click right here edit and you can upload uh, any file Watch, I'll change it real quick. You can change it to whatever thing as long as it's short enough and not uh, too high quality. So that's how you change that. If you want to change your key binds, so if you want like space to actually be clicking like shift or something, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but yeah, you can do that. You can change the actuation, which would be how far you have to press to uh, far you have to press to make it like click. So one would be super or uh, shortest amount as possible, and ten would be as far as possible. Illumination. This is how you change your how you change the colors and the designs and the effects. So I have a couple of different things here. And that's how you change them and change them here and there's a bunch of different options and you can play around with them but now let's get on to the settings so how you would use this is i already showed you how to do the image but what you do is you'd hold this on for two seconds one two sorry <laughs> there you go and then you can change uh, like all your macros your actuation you can change this if you want, Oops, sorry, wrong button. You can change your uh, actuation if you want. Like you can change it high. Okay, so it's high to click. So you see, see right there, it's going all the way up. That's when I press it. So if I would put it to one, see, so I just have to click a tiny little bit to get it past there. Put it to five. You have to click it all the way down there. All and to click the key all the way to there. Okay, so that's that. That's actuation. You can change your profiles and stuff like that, but you don't need to do that. Illumination. So you can switch oops, click on one. So illumination. You can change all your presets, your brightness and custom customization. So you can have, you can change all of this and stuff. That's how you change between your two your prefabs. Thanks for watching. This is first video. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Hopefully, this was helpful. And see you in the next video.